seeing her daughter, Jessica was caught, as she frequently was, by Aaliyah's resemblance to Paul at that age. The same wide-eyed solemnity to her questing look, the dark hair and firmness of mouth. But there were subtle differences too, and it was in these that most adults found Aaliyah disquieting. The child, little more than a toddler, carried herself with a calmness and awareness beyond her years. Anticipation for Denis Villeneuve's Dune Part 2 is continuing to grow leading up to its impending release. However, there are also growing concerns as to how the more strange and esoteric elements from Frank Herbert's novel will be handled. Perhaps what is the most worrisome aspect of the newest Dune interpretation for fans is how the character of Aaliyah Atreides will be portrayed especially since the entire marketing campaign for Dune Part 2 has noticeably gone out of its way to hide her involvement in the film. In this video, I'd like to discuss why this character is so special and challenging for screen adaptations, and consider the possible reasons behind the lingering secrecy of Aaliyah Atreides. Spoiler warning if you are unfamiliar with Frank Herbert's Dune. Depicting Aaliyah, daughter of Lady Jessica and the slain Duke Leto Atreides, is quite possibly one of the greatest challenges for Denis Villeneuve's Dune Part II. The strange and complex character occupies a pivotal role in the story, in particular towards the climax of the novel. Therefore, when promotional materials for the highly anticipated sequel conspicuously lacked any mention or depiction of Aaliyah, it raised eyebrows and sent ripples through the fandom. This media blackout regarding her role initially sparked concerns that her character might be omitted or greatly reduced for this new interpretation. To that point, it may put some fans at ease to know that Aaliyah Atreides will indeed be in the upcoming sequel, keeping continuity with the novel and the first installment which featured the revelation of Lady Jessica's pregnancy, along with a brief appearance of Aaliyah as a baby in her mother's arms during one of Paul's prescient visions. The cinematic challenges surrounding Aaliyah no doubt lie at the heart of the reason for such secrecy. In Herbert's universe, Aaliyah's genesis itself is a testament to the strange and unnatural, awakened to full consciousness in the womb when her mother Jessica attempted the deadly spice agony ritual. Aaliyah became pre-born, receiving countless lives and memories along with her mother. Exposed as a fetus to this onslaught of knowledge, she was born with the cognizance of an adult. A full reverend mother with the appearance of an infant, the Fremen are afraid that Aaliyah is a witch, or possessed by a demon. She knows things no child should know. This unnatural state is dubbed abomination by the Bene Gesserit. A tragic result from her pre-born nature is that though Aaliyah pretends to be a little girl, she has never been a child. While her role may be reduced due to time constraints for the film, it is likely for Aaliyah's nature and struggles to be featured, at least briefly, especially if there is any intent to continue adapting Frank Herbert's sequel novels as her role becomes much more prominent in the Dune saga. Aaliyah's uniqueness has presented a formidable hurdle for filmmakers in the past, Depicting a character with the external appearance of a child, but with the profound knowledge and depth of an adult, is no simple feat. A child actor's limitations, coupled with the audience's discomfort at viewing a child in such an unconventional light, makes Aaliyah a unique on-screen obstacle. In her, the lines between innocence and awareness are blurred, having the potential to leave audiences both perturbed and fascinated. In past adaptations, both David Lynch's film and the Sci-Fi Channel miniseries went with a slightly older actress to portray Aaliyah, choosing to represent her character as a 7-9 to nine year old, which is a few years older from the novel's description. Given their age, Alicia Witt from the 1984 film and Laura Burton from the miniseries both did a good job for such a challenging role. Casting older actors for young roles is a very common practice in Hollywood, Villeneuve has already done so in his own adaptation. In the book, Paul Atreides is 15 years of age, and Timothy Chalamet was around 23 when filming began for Dune Part 1. This made sense considering Paul is no ordinary teenager, and bears the wisdom and maturity of his station as the heir of House Atreides. Chalamet looked youthful and could accurately portray the maturity the role called for. Considering this fact, if the filmmaker is already comfortable with casting an older actor for a role, as long as the portrayal is faithful, one question arises. Why all the secrecy? 
The answer could have significant ramifications for the film. What if Villeneuve has decided against casting an older actress for Aaliyah? If so, the prospect of her portrayal could cause both fascination or dread, perhaps in equal measure for fans and general audiences. According to writer and producer Chris Gore, in a recent stream on the Nerdrotic YouTube channel while discussing the new Dune movie with fellow guest Danica19, he has heard from somebody involved in the production of Dune Part 2 that they are trying something new with Aaliyah and that there is some uncertainty as to whether or not this new method would work out. Certainly a more faithful attempt at adapting Aaliyah Atreides would be preferred, however, one can't help but wonder if it's even possible to pull it off in a way that isn't uncanny or clunky. It's highly unlikely that an actual toddler ranging from two to four years old would be able to pull off the adult awareness and dialogue of Aaliyah. So does that mean Villeneuve is going to attempt to use visual effects to pull this off? Even those unfamiliar with the Twilight films have more than likely heard and seen clips of the infamous CG baby featured in Twilight Breaking Dawn. In that film, the oldest child actor's face was also digitally transferred onto younger body doubles in an attempt to portray the child's accelerated growth. Though technology has only continued to improve, the mere mention of a CG toddler for Aaliyah Atreides may prove to be an off-putting prospect for audiences and would be an understandable reason for all the secrecy. Recently, there has also been growing discontent with de-aging technology that transfers a certain actor's likeness onto a body double. The use of this technology has become more mainstream in various high-profile films and shows, and has consequently been increasingly panned by viewers. Even the best examples are still clearly in the edge of the uncanny valley that many find unsettling. So if there is heavy use of such technology for Aaliyah Atreides, the secrecy surrounding her character starts to make more sense. It's understandable that scenes involving Aaliyah would require extensive VFX work, and in line with Villeneuve's meticulous reputation, the filmmaker likely wants to ensure her portrayal aligns with his own high standards as well as Frank Herbert's vision for Aaliyah. The progression of time is also something that has been a bit of a mystery in the marketing, and there may also be multiple actresses involved in the character's depiction, adding another possible reason for secrecy when it comes to casting. Ultimately, the media blackout regarding Aaliyah Atreides definitely seems to be a strategic move, and at the very least indicates that director Denis Villeneuve doesn't want to prematurely reveal his creative approach, preferring to focus on his efforts in post-production while likely appreciating the aura of mystery and growing anticipation building around this character. While I am cautious about this rumored new approach to Aaliyah, I certainly welcome a more faithful representation of the character. The fact is that Aaliyah is the abomination, the strange one. Seeing a toddler carry herself with the wisdom of an adult will certainly help audiences to understand the surrounding Fremen's fear and apprehension. However, the primary caveat is that this must be done well. Otherwise, this decision could backfire tremendously and not only detract from the character, but the entire film itself, which otherwise seems to be shaping up to be a true sci-fi epic. Regardless of the promotional strategy, Aaliyah Atreides remains an essential piece in the story of Dune. Her interactions with key characters are a vital contribution to the unfolding story. The weight of expectations on Villeneuve and his team to do justice to this character is immense. Aaliyah's arc, steeped in mystery and tragedy, demands a portrayal that is both nuanced and powerful. Her role lies at the core of the monumental challenges that come with adapting such unique and complex stories to the big screen. The stakes are high, but if executed with care and finesse, Aaliyah's portrayal has the potential to stand as a testament to the depth and otherworldly richness of Frank Herbert's universe. But I'm curious to know what you think about the secrecy surrounding Aaliyah Atreides for Dune Part 2. Do you have any theories as to how the production team will handle her story and portrayal? Are you excited for a new creative approach or concerned about the execution? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe for more Dune and other sci-fi and fantasy news and lore. And if you're looking for other ways to show your appreciation, you can check out my Patreon page where members get access to exclusive content and perks. Thank you all so much for your support.
And as always, have a very nerdy day.